it was new and it yeah. was awesome, man. It was. And, uh, you know, it's kind of funny. Conor McGregor, which his walk is fine. Conor, I never <laughs> mean to insult you, brother. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, wow, man, how did they come up with that walk? And then I saw him walking into the, an MMA That's ring. Him. And <laughs> I was like, wow, okay, man. But, dude, that guy was hilarious. I mean, like, he really played that character well. And um, I thought the whole movie was fun. I mean, it got more and more ludicrous as the movie went on. Um, it was almost like, uh, oh, man, I never can remember that one uh, movie with Statham in it where uh, he like loses crank. his heart. Crank, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was almost kind of like Crank or uh, one of the uh, Fast and Furious movies in the last, you know, mm. couple in the franchise. But it was good, man. I mean, like, you know, and then did you stay? I'm sure you did. Did you watch through the credits? It was that moment at the end credit or the post credit sequence that made me really like Conor McGregor's character more. <laughs> because we're, we watch the film and yeah. then he comes into it about an hour into it. And by then right. I've already I've settled into the film. I like Hall anyway. I was laughing at right. some of the, yeah. you know, some of the craziness going on. And then Knox shows up with his all right, darling. I'm like, oh, is this where the film nose dives? Is right. this it? Because it was such a jar. It was like, this is not what, what film does he say? This isn't a Guy Ritchie movie, Connor. Right. This is a different film. This is a Doug right. Lyman movie. And and then he, his character went away, and I'm like, okay, right, I get it. Because I couldn't, and that is his accent. I, I couldn't quite yeah. get. I, I I'm like, what what was that he said? Because I wasn't. Because I'm so used right. to watching a film with an American accent in. Whenever you drop a different country <laughs> accent in, you're like, whoa, that's a shift. So right, I was struggling right. on that a little bit. And then he came back, and I'm like, okay, I like the film, but his character was kind of weird, and he felt like he was in a different movie. <laughs> but then, oh, they yeah. have, then they have the post credit scene when he walks out of the hospital with the walk, and I'm like, now I get it. He's the guy from Mad Max Thunderdome that just wouldn't die. He's, he's the iron bar who gets hit by a train. He's like, I'm carrying on. So I'm like, now, now I get it. And then yep. later that night, I watched the film again because Annette got home and I'm like, we've got to watch Roadhouse. We've got to watch this, mate. <laughs> and I got it straight from the beginning. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I, I like Knox. But a lot of people yeah. have been really snarky towards him. Not to his face, obviously, because <laughs> right. they're, they're chickens. But it's like, it's Dude. his first yeah. movie. For the love of God, we you just cut somebody some slack. Dude, it was fun. And I think because he was in it, the fight scenes while over the top. I mean, mm. somebody would have been knocked straight out onto the floor, some of those yeah. punches and stuff. But I think he added a, a certain genuine quality to all the fight scenes, um, which, man, I mean, like, I, I'm, I would, I've seen the whole movie once, the last half of the movie a second time because Michelle fell asleep the first time. Not that she wasn't interested. She was just tired. And uh, but I am in awe of those fight scenes, and I can't find any behind the scenes footage at all. I mean, like when do you know do you know how they shot them? I do. Was it kind of like Guy Ritchie doing the uh, the Sherlock Holmes, where some of it was real speed, some of it was slow? No, and... it was it was what they, I think they call it multi pass. Ah, so, yeah. So so if um, which I wasn't familiar with, I read it and I'm like, okay, that looks way more complicated than just try not to hit me in the face and we'll make it look good. <laughs> where right. you're there, I'm here, blah, 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 and then you're not there. And then there's some pads where you are and I hit the pads full belt. Right. And then yeah. I move out the way and then there's pads where I am and then you punch me and then they put them all together. Yeah. I'm like, that sounds way complicated. And so that's how they did a lot of the fight scenes. But people yeah. are mad at that. Why didn't you just let them fight? Because people get hurt, <laughs> man. Because Gyllenhaal would not have lasted long. No. <laughs> he may have no. been in good shape, but I mean, like, he knew. I mean, like, have you seen, oh, was it? It's not Sports Illustrated. There was some interview uh, where Gyllenhaal and McGregor sat down side by side, and they were just talking mm. about making the movie and how much fun they had and stuff. But, yeah, man. I mean, like, if there's a video out there where McGregor hits one of those uh, bags that shows you with how much force and man, it's like 250, 275. I mean, it is incredible. Um, I would not want my face anywhere near that punch. No, nope. <laughs> I hope he's in more movies, Conor McGregor, because from what yeah. I've read, 
you know, he's not going to be getting an Oscar next year for that role. You know, that's right. yeah. probably yeah. a given. But he right. had so much fun making that film. And it's like the f- film Twitter and film Facebook are like, screw you, don't ever act again. You you ruined right. a classic. Classic? Yeah. Really? Uh, Come on, give me a break. <laughs> I like the original Roadhouse in a classic. It's just a fun film. Right, um, yeah. So yeah. just, yeah, it's not Schindler's List or The English Patient. It's right. crazy beat em up. Yeah, and it didn't have any of those uh, 80s tropes uh, that the original Roadhouse did. And I love the fact yeah. that they made fun of the Roadhouse name yep. and then the boat. Uh, yep. I mean, like, it's just, that's some funny stuff. Not did to mention you... the girl, uh, his uh, boss in there yeah. um, is just, I, I don't know, man. She she is, she is, she just brings so much to whatever character, a lot of perkiness. I couldn't see her being uh, a serious character. But then again, I mean, Bill Murray pulled it off, so maybe I'm wrong. But mm. no, she's just cute, man. She's got a lot of pizzazz, so. Did you notice the shop next to the bookshop was called a double deuce? No. From the first one? I, yep. I, yep. Uh, so, yeah. It's just a bunch of good good stuff, man. So going back to the fight scenes, there's one scene where I think Gyllenhaal comes up and puts McGregor in a headlock, picks him up, and the camera's like right here, and then the camera goes over as they go backwards over a table. That's the kind of stuff I want to yeah. know. I mean, like, how did somebody not get hurt? I, it's a really good director. It That's, is impressive. And, but then, yeah. and then, so you got like the crew that make the film go, ta da, look at all the clever stuff we've done. You got the internet yeah. going, screw you, you've ruined the classic. <laughs> <laughs> and then they storm off like Conor McGregor did at the end. It's just like, <laughs> right. the, the world needs its enjoyment yeah. back, it needs its sense of fun and entertainment back. So, yeah. 